And now it's the Daily Dose of Weird News, hosted by Darren Marlar, produced by Darren Marlar, directed by Darren Marlar, catering by Darren Marlar, transportation by Darren Marlar. Heck, I even fixed the chair when it started squeaking. From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook Bed Bugs by Jason R. Davis, narrated by Darren Marlar. If you love horror but hate bugs, this is the audiobook for you. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. A human rights group wants Dennis Rodman tossed out of Basketball's Hall of Fame. The Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation has filed a petition calling for Rodman's removal from the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame because of Rodman's defense of North Korean dictator and friend for life Kim Jong-un. I wouldn't worry about that, Rodman. I mean, Kim's going to build you your very own private hoops Hall of Fame if that happens, and the only member will be you, uh, while you and basketball great Kim Jong-un, of course. Michael Vick's father has been charged, along with 11 other people, in a large-scale heroin distribution scheme. Michael Dwayne Bodie stands accused of dealing heroin and money laundering. Michael Vick will be raising bail money for his father by going back to dogfighting. George Clooney has sold the tequila company he owns with Cindy Crawford's husband and real estate developer Michael Meldman for $1 billion. Clooney said in a statement, If you asked us four years ago if we had a billion-dollar company, I don't think we would have said yes. But hey, I'm handsome George Clooney, so everything goes my way, so ha <laughs> ha, regular people! Not only is Big Brother watching you, he knows far more about you than you ever imagined. A recent report in the New York Times marveled over the sophistication of Google's and Facebook's ability to identify potential customers for advertisements and are now capable of targeting ads so narrow that they can pinpoint, say, Idaho residents in long-distance relationships who are contemplating buying a minivan. Facebook's ad manager said that such a description matches 3,100 people out of Idaho's 1.655 million. So that settles it. I am not moving to Idaho or buying a minivan. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie says he doesn't care about his record low approval ratings. Christie tells Politico, That fact, who cares? Poll numbers matter when you're running for something. When you're not running for something, they don't matter a bit and I don't care. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a tub of Ben & Jerry's with my name on it waiting for me in the kitchen. Little Baby's Ice Cream in Philadelphia is known for their oddly flavored ice cream and rather bizarre ads, but they might have outdone themselves this year. They are now serving pizza-flavored ice cream, which many say tastes just like the real thing. So what makes it so pizza-y? Well, tomato, basil, oregano, salt, and garlic. Still, for some, that's just not pizza-y enough, so they've taken it upon themselves to plop a scoop on top of a hot slice of actual pizza. See, now I'm not seeing the mozzarella in that recipe. I, I call foul. Veteran presidential advisor and CNN contributor David Gergen feels that this week's win by Republican candidates in special congressional elections demonstrate that President Trump could actually win himself re-election in 2020. Be careful out there, next few minutes, as limousine liberals are liable to be driving those limos erratically while processing this little nugget of info I just dropped on them. One of the most popular beverages in America is becoming extinct. As Americans drink less soda, one bubbly beverage is falling much faster than the rest – diet soda. Since 2005, American consumption of diet soda has fallen by more than 27 percent, a loss of 834 million cases. In 15 years, the category went from accounting for nearly 30 percent of all carbonated beverages by volume sold in the U.S to roughly 25 percent, according to Beverage Digest data. And the fall of diet isn't slowing down. Diet brands like Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi have accounted for 94 percent of all carbonated soft drink declines since 2010. Well, yeah, I mean, you've been telling us the last few years diet drinks not only make us fatter, but will kill us faster. So of course we're just going to switch back to the good stuff. The South Carolina baseball fan tried a ballpark proposal at a Columbia Fireflies game last week. The entire stadium was able to look on as the event was displayed on the video board, but unfortunately, the woman turned the guy down, then grabbed her purse and left him at the game. 
She really got a hold of her purse, and she's going, going, and she's out of here! An even stranger baseball story, a minor league baseball team in Florida handed out pregnancy tests during a game last Sunday. It was part of the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp's You Might Be a Father promotion in honor of Father's Day. Hey, well, well, hey, take them home, people. Please do not pee on them here. In the DC Comics world, Wonder Woman is being joined by her long-lost twin brother. I'm guessing he doesn't wear the outfit quite as well as Diana, though. O.J. Simpson will go before the parole board for a hearing July 20th. If he's freed, he'll get back to searching for the real killers on every golf course in the country. Mattel has announced that 15 new versions of their Ken doll are on the way, including a variety of skin tones, eye colors, and hairstyles. Man buns, polka-dotted tees, and hipster glasses are all part of the mix. Because it's not enough to allow girls to be girls, we need to make them pansies, too. They're saying that Carrie Fisher's death should be a warning for those suffering with sleep apnea. Well, yeah, uh, you probably should also shy away from combining cocaine with methadone, ecstasy, and heroin while you're at it. Jay-Z's new album, 444, may drop next week, but he's going to wait until fall before launching a tour to support it. You know, I say with a title like 444, you wait until April of 2044 to tour. I'd certainly appreciate it. Two Australian farmers have created a vodka made from carrots. In a related story, Bugs Bunny was recently picked up for DUI. South of Seattle, a woman pulled up to a jack-in-the-box and ordered food. First, she complained how long it took to get her drink. Then she complained to find something in her drink, and then when she realized she was one chicken nugget shy of a full order, she pulled a gun. Who orders nuggets and then counts them before driving away? I mean, that's somebody that's just looking for problems to complain about. That's the exact type of person who would bring a gun to a food fight. That lady certainly is one chicken nugget shy of a full order. They've been shooting the Han Solo Star Wars spin-off in London since February. With filming over halfway done, the two directors are being replaced. Just wasn't going the way the studio wanted. No word on who shot first. A burglar in Texas was arrested after getting drunk when he stopped to swig the homeowner's whiskey. Police found him sitting in a chair in the living room of the home. He had the happiest mugshot in the police department's history, though. Tourists are being told not to take grief selfies in front of that burned-out apartment building in London where 79 people lost their lives. It's a tragedy, not a tourist attraction. And all his people said, Amen. According to a survey of millennials, 51% say they've taken a bathroom mirror selfie, and 25% of responding millennials confess to taking a selfie while on the toilet. Man, who knew we would be longing for the days of ultra-conservative clothing like thongs and fishnet tops? Taking too many selfies will not just make you look like a goofball or insensitive, it could also get you killed. In a study review published in the Journal of Travel Medicine, researchers noted multiple deaths and injuries from falls, animal attacks, and road and pedestrian accidents. Many were suffered by people who were looking at themselves and not where they were going. Remember now, people, Siri is not smart enough to politely say, I'm sorry, Dave, but there is a 50-foot python behind you. Never miss a single episode of The Daily Dose of Weird News. Download the free Marlar House mobile app. In the app, you can find links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Watch other Marlar House YouTube videos. Sign up for the Marlar Sheet newsletter to automatically be registered for giveaways. Purchase Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirts or mugs. Download audiobooks I've narrated. See my latest blog posts and more. The Marlar House mobile app is free for iOS and Android users. Download it now by clicking the mobile app tab at dailydoseofweirdnews.com or search for Marlar House in your phone app store. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!